in Punjabi American, that's the newspaper where she stays, would like this to be placed so they all can read it. That's number one. If the backwards. What happened? This way? That way. You put the mouth backwards. <laughs> you made it that way. <laughs> because this what way. that mean? This way? Yeah, okay. Excuse me. <laughs> this barely comes through. A lot of precious stone. I am looking if there's a juicy news for you. In New Mexico, your last 25 homes, Clinton chews cigars, but he doesn't inhale. President Clinton had an anti-smoking event on Tuesday. Still chews on occasional cigars, but he does not light up. Wow. Canadian Prime Minister charged with assault. Isn't it funny? We have Prime Ministers and President going crazy. Well, there's nothing much for you in the whole United States. I think the Monte went very well. Nepalese, which was a Himalayan country, which was always very independent, is asking America to give them wheat. So you can well understand the state affairs. United States on the 1st of May was bankrupt and all the member states did not pay their dues on time and now they are diverting their peacekeeping funds to live. That is the state affairs everywhere. If you are all in trouble, just understand United States is in more trouble than you. Age is coming to an end. The Piscean age, which we all love and believe, which carried us through all this time where we wanted to know, we pursued, we worked it out, we landed on a moon, we wanted to know what a space and universe is. Actually, it has come to an end. In another 25 years, there's no search will be left to pursue. All things will be done for you by your own computer. It is very funny, I saw that day a program, how computer makes the bed and reads the instruction what kind of color of sheets is to be provided. And then both computers come on both sides, keep the sheet, fold it up all day, take it out in the end, put the pillows. And I was surprised. I said, after a while, we will not be needed anymore. All things will be done. You will look at the computer, and your hairstyle will run. Can you believe that? So man is getting into a philosophy of flawlessness dependence. It looks very comfortable now. People who were walking 30 miles to going from one place to another were way healthier than people are today. It is not a question of how good structurally you look. It's a matter of stamina. In body, the power of your stamina is all what you need, how far you lost. And in your mind, it is the caliber which means anything. It's the mental caliber how you lost in dealing with this word means anything. If there are speculations, you are identified as Mr. Yo-Yo. And that's not very healthy to deal with life. In spirituality,
is the basic of unisonness. How you can be a giver? Never drop anybody, care for everybody, be kind to everybody, compassionate, loving, come through, doesn't matter. That is when your spirit is very much with you. Spirituality is not you belong to a religion, you are spiritual, or you are respected by tons of people that you are spiritual and respected. It has absolutely no meaning. An ordinary man, in an ordinary way, when can respect a befalling human, that's way, way in the eyes of God, a very precious act. You must understand this triangle, how it works. Suppose I want to be negative to somebody, and I'm angry, and I'm destructive, and I'm abusive, and I'm not saying anything. I'm sitting silent and saying, you know, my mind goes into those faculty of negativity. And I think I'm not doing anything. I'm under control. I'm under discipline. But my mind, like a telephone, goes all the way, reflects back to that person where I am focusing the dial number of my negative energy. Now, nature is very beautiful. Nature pulls the golden shield of that person and it reflects back into a mega power. Because I'm already open, it comes back to me and destroys me 100,000 times. You don't have to destroy yourself. What will happen to you if you're negative, slanderous? For what? We do not know for what, why you use and waste most beautiful time of life, but what will happen to you is your face will have no grace. You'll have everything in this world. You cannot have grace bought, but it is bestowed by you and your dharma, your positive self. Each soul has to be crowned by the dharma of the self, and dharma of the self is the prana which has been given to you are yours. When you stop wasting them, on things which are menial, inferior, negative, then all positive force comes and salutes you. These are certain laws which nobody can change. That's why the Creator is bound by the consciousness of the devotee. People don't understand why should you love each other? My question is, why not? Why not? What will go wrong if you are just a very passionate, loving person? What will go wrong if you are kind and compassionate? You know what will happen if you are a good, good, good person? You will be a rich, rich person. Because goodness gives. And you are not going to manufacture everything by stealing somewhere, naturally it will come to you. <clears throat> and God shall see to it that you are given enough that you can give. It is all those who likes to take by low-handed, menial ways. They don't make sense. They lose their own prosperity for no reason. It's a story and it is true. And it's my own life story. I once was with a person I respected very much, and as far as I know, she was the highest educated saintly woman I can understand. It's not that I can deny that. That's why I chose to work with her. So one day she told me if you... I went there for some reference book, and she said, could you this Sunday not, but next Sunday be my guest speaker? I said, what happened? Somebody didn't show up? <laughs> she said, yeah, that's the fact. I said, okay, you can fill me in, I'll come. So next Sunday when it was my time to speak, I went there and I gave a lecture. The conscious divulgence of the mind and the spiritual affection of the personal self to share with others. In those days were very hippie days, so 
it was considered a very lofty, loving, approving people's kind of a lecture. So everybody was very happy because they don't understand that you understand lecture or not. They understand how many times you clapped and how many times you say, wow, or that kind of, how much nice you created. So it was considered to be a very popular lecture. Anyway, I finished. Then it's a custom that this great lady takes you to the nearest cafeteria. You know where you take your own plate and you go through the railing and you put the food. We went there. So what she did is whatever the money came, she had some system to give it to the speaker or give it to the office and give it to that. It was about $112 or $20, I don't exactly remember the number. But it was in a very beautiful uh, gray bag, like as you put your sandwich in it or something. So she handed it over to me. And it was all written over there, so I said, fine. When I come to this entrac cafeteria, which I always pass now and remember the story myself, I saw a very tall man, black, with the electric pole standing, and he said, I'm not a beggar, I'm just blind. I have a family, I'm a respectful man, and I want you to buy these pencils for your children so that my children can be fed. So kindly take pencils as you please, it is written, and put the money in this kind of a big cup it was. So I just went and picked up one pencil and dropped that bag into it. And I walked away. That was my first encounter on the United States soil with the most reverend person, which for which I have even reverend now. And she said, what you did? I said, what? Do you know how much money was in that? I said, yeah, it was money. It was written on it. For one pencil? I said, yes. You Indians, you always feed beggars. And I said, no, mom. I'm Indian who bought a pencil for all that money. What do you do with this pencil? I said, right, I shall write my own destiny. I needed a pencil. Well, she just lost her temper, which normally people do lose me, because when I become like snow face, there's nothing but you get angry with me. It doesn't matter who you are. I know that. That trick I play many times to provoke how fast you come out of your skin. It's very easy. And that tells me how much lava is inside and how much this snow-capped, beautiful person is outside. It does tell you all about a person. If you yell a person and they shake, you understand how strong the nervous system are. If you don't give them a tonic, you are a sick person at home. So there are a lot of measures you have to take in life to see where one is at. You know, those. everybody takes that plate and start rolling on that railing and pick up whatever you want. You know, how much a vegetarian can pick up one salad and one little muffin and some little thing here and there, that's all it was. So I picked that all up. But because I was delayed with that conversation, I was pretty lost. So what she did is that she took all the food, and everybody, we were eight, nine people, and she told that last man will pay. That was me. You know what I mean? So naturally, when I'll go there, I'll have food already, and the cashier will stop me and say, this is the bill, and you pay, because I was the last to pay for all the who went in front of me. So when I went there, she said, thank you, sir, we'll go. And I said, she has paid. So naturally, I was a VIP of that night, so I sat on that table. And the custom is you take the food from the tray and put in the table. And I didn't like to have dirty food of mine going into further dirty table <laughs> to eat. So I kept the tray. 
So I'm Indian, you know what I mean? She said again, this is not the custom. You don't, you have to leave Indian habits here and don't start eating with a hand. I said, all right, very fine. And then the cashier came, leaving the cash book and left about 70 some dollars on my table. And I said, lady, what is that? He said, I don't sir, some of your students were sitting here, gave me $100 and $10 to give you all food and the check, what is the balance in the check, he said, you give it to my teacher. So he described you, I think, are you a teacher? I said, kind of, yes. <laughs> so she said, this is $70. Plus, sir, he has this letter for you. I said, thank you. So I said, Ma, these $70 are yours or mine? She said, they are yours. What is in the letter? So I opened the letter. It was say, my dear teacher, I have not come to many classes of yours. I'm so sad and sorry. Therefore, to improve my position, I am penalizing myself, and I'm gifting you $500. It is, was a day when dollar meant a lot. So he put those $500 in that. And I said, Ma, now it is 590 something. Is it yours or mine? And she said, not yours. I said, see how the pencil works? <laughs> you do not know what blessing of somebody at what time <coughs> that goodness and sweetness can change your life to ecstasy. Simply, you should have an open heart and be there to receive. God shall never be found outside of you. He or she, whatever you call it or it, is always in you. We forget God is. God not forget who we are. Now this is a classic psychology or affirmation you can call it. But in the age of Aquarius, the mano system of quantum measurement of our psyche in our magnetic relationship, in our existence which is created by the miracle of the maculous breath of life, creates and diversify the energy into the running of our body and being. And that very energy in the same very system is also living in other life. Whether it's a dog or a cat or a duck or a person or a bird or a fish, the semantics are the same. The only difference is how many negative thoughts you have projected and ruined your destiny, how many positive thoughts you have projected and made your blessings. How many times you became giver, how many times you became a cheat, it's up to you. How you treat your life is your consciousness. Nobody can ever tell you anything. If you have any philosophy that you want to look beautiful, decorate yourself gracefully and have your face very bright, that will work. But within 10 minutes, before 11 minutes, Another person will like for you or dislike for you. It depends on your manners. Every magnitude of life is have a altitude which has to be very decisive by your manners. It's the highlight. Because we have longitude and latitude for life for everybody. We have depth because our life is granted to us. But altitude and attitude that's our personal. To build invincible attitude, that's what the rishis, the sages, brought a science foolproof, absolutely clean, is called Kundalini Yoga. Uncoil your own soul from the sitting, sleeping grip onto prevailing and penetrating energy so that you can understand. Like somebody was asking me a question today. If somebody asks me the dirtiest question and ugliest question and rotten question, what should be my answer? I say, answer is very simple. Don't waste your words 
on things which are not graceful? Simple answer. Don't even say, don't waste your time on ungraceful things. I said, never use a negative word. Just say, don't waste your words on ungraceful things. Somebody will ask you a question. Are you this, are you that? Why don't you meditate on my God and ask him to tell you the real thing of me? I don't have words to explain. Maybe I may not be very right for your purposes. I want to know. You don't have to brother or sister know me. When you know yourself, you will be knowing me all the way. Isn't something good? You can avoid a conflict. <laughs> we are very uptight. Oh, man, you lousy creature, you liar of the grit of the base of the root of the cockroach. What are you doing? Ah! It means there's no God, there's no life, nothing. Ah! Look at them. They perhaps want to show their brush teeth. Ah! They open up their mouth. Have you seen people doing that mice ah, all the time? When they are in trouble, they magnify it, thinking, perhaps. And look at this insecure people. <clears throat> I don't think I can trust anybody. I don't think I can talk to anybody. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think they even can't think. They become like stone-headed people. So, we have a good faculty of life. And by our constant hammering behavior of negativity, we do circuit breaking. It's very confusing that a human which is built in the very image of God has to learn to be divine. Those who do not know to surrender their own consciousness to their own elevated consciousness, they only know how to plunder their life for tomorrow. But let's not talk too much philosophy tonight. Let's see if we can get into action and result-oriented so we have the courage and principle. People think all these exercises are just a few minute joke. Mm -hmm. They are not. They just put you together for the moment so that you can continue forever. Now, please remember this posture. Now, this is id ego. This is? Ego. This is id. This is? This is Jupiter. This is Saturn. This is Sun. This is Mercury. Then there is a mount, and the love mount is right here, which is Venus. But this thumb, which is our ego, and you make exactly like this. It's just a classic thing. And you slowly open your all fingers, and you will be surprised. You have Panchanaga, five snakes, heads open. Just, just feel it. Meditate, open your fingers like this, and concentrate on your fingers. Nothing else, just tight. Bent, bent, like a cobra head. Don't put your fingers straight, you won't have that feeling. Just bend them like this and solidify yourself. And please close your eyes. Four hours and why grew that one tape? money-making, MM tape, we call it, money-making machine. People should be rich, summer is coming. That's what mantras do. If it's a Panchanaga Kriya, it's just five heads of the cobra, your all fingers become the same. Naga means 
not snake, Naga means something, some being, somebody which can go where nothing can go. Like Raga, this sun energy can go where nothing else can go. Use the tip of tongue, please, nothing else.
Tighten your fingers and breathe long and easy. Make them as tight, as strongly you can do. Still, still. Say nothing. Use all the strength of the muscle and the mind to tighten the heads of these hand power stars in the heaven and your fingers as head of the snake. That's what you're practicing. Harder you make it, sooner you will be awakened into a different dimension. It's a matter of how much you try, that's all. You're already on the urge of it. Put your both hands on your heart, left under, right over, and sit calmly. Can you put up the take, Mahakal Sriyakal? Concentrate and meditate, and to nothing else you relate. This is the time for you to grow. Lock your back, molars. And slowly breathe, please. Tighten your molars. Inhale deep. Exhale. Inhale deep. Exhale. Inhale deep, exhale and hold out, hold out to the count of eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale. Relax, may the long times. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> now let's start again. One, two, three, go. <clears throat> upon you. 
Blessed are those who live. It is very supreme power in them to exist and feel and create emotional coexistence with others. It is a joy to see the light in our eyes, to see the light in others. We hear the celestial music and something we create with our being. We speak the kindest words which can melt even the hardest hearts. It's a unique opportunity to be friendly and kind and compassionate. Life is a gift of God. Each day His blessings comes on us and covers our weaknesses so we can pass the day for that tomorrow which is yet to come. We always live in love, kindness, caring, compassionate and daring to serve Satna. Good, but they don't have a light. Oh. 